Okay, so I don't have cable, as I've said before, so I watch Netflix for Greenleaf and a lot of shows. So anyway, um, I want to talk to you about a couple of things, one being um, my job. So it's official. <laughs> I'm super excited. It's been about six months. It's been a long time, but I got the call last week and yeah um from human resources and they asked if i wanted to accept the job and of course i said yes i was super excited um they did tell me uh, my salary is going to go up a little bit um a few thousand not a lot i'm moving into a leadership role but it's not an administrative role so it's not like my salary is going to go up super 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 much but Pleasantly, I'm I'm okay with it. Um, and so the human resources lady told me to tell my principal before they reach out because it's just better that way. And I went to go tell the principal, and he wasn't there again for two days in a row. To come to find out, he was at a conference in I'm saying the past because this happened a few days ago. He was at a conference in uh, California, so I went to his secretary, and I end up telling her. And she said, congratulations. And I um, went and I told my department chair too, who talked to me a bit about a friend of hers who is in a similar position and you know some pros and cons about leaving the classroom. So anyway, um, the very next day, less than 24, 24 hours later, the human resources lady called me and said, not called me, but uh, emailed me and asked if I told my principal. And I told her I did, and she said, okay, now she's gonna do her stuff. Um, and then my new boss reached out and basically said, she did get a, an email from my current principal. And um, basically he just said, you know, we got a vacancy already in science and now with her. So his priority is to fill the first vacancy and they'll fill mine. So although I've accepted the position, it's gonna be, um, it might be a little while before I am released. And the way it works in this district is, I can't get released until they have someone to fill my position. So, but I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. I did get an email from the principal today that I thought was shade, because it was like, congratulations. Um, but it would have been nice if you would have told me um, that you were searching, so I could have been proactive about finding a place, you know, um, a replacement for you. And tell me if, Tell me if you agree with me, you know, down in the comments. I'm making the decision for me, right? Um, the only people that I feel badly about impacting are my students. The adults, not so much, because you take the opportunity when, that, when the opportunity arises. This is a job you've been with me. I interviewed for back in June or July, so it's been about six months. Um, and the way it is in this district, if it's it's like your applications and your interviews, they all go into like a district black hole. You never hear anything. It's very hard. It's a lot of um, a lot of positions that are open are already filled. Like the people already know where they got hired. So you're often interviewing and applying for stuff you have no chance of getting. So when you get an opportunity, you have to jump on it. And that's the only reason why I've been waiting. Like. Other other people could have been like, forget this job. Six months? You've been stringing me along for six months? Well, in this district, if I got something to hold on to, I'm going to freaking grab it. So all I have to say is, no, I wasn't going to tell you. Because you would have found some way, I think, maybe, selfishly to keep it from happening. Like, I can't tell you about a job. Although the lady, my 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 boss now my new supervisor although she kept telling me kept keeping me informed she kept speaking to me like i am the one she wants to hire nothing is done until human resources call me until that virtual paperwork is signed until i talk to her and said yes nothing is a done deal so why would i tell you or anyone else that could jeopardize that. That would be beneficial for you, but that would have been selfish on my part. 
because I couldn't be the one without the job. So I, I mean, I get it, but it's almost like it's a principal thing. That's what they do. They hire people. I don't know. So I get what he's saying. I don't want to be a total B I T C H about it, but I mean, I have to look out for me. So I don't know. Tell me if, tell me if I should be looking at this from a different perspective. And so I did reach out to a friend of mine to ask if I should talk to him because I started to send him an email, but have you ever been typing an email and he kept erasing type, erasing type, because you're not quite sure if what you're saying is going to be conveyed the way you need it to be conveyed. Or um, I kept saying, maybe this isn't the time. Maybe I should wait a few minutes and then send it. But at, at the end, I just didn't send it at all. And I, I asked my friend and he was just like, no, no, that's a principal's job. That That's what they do. So but, you know, the district is big, but then it's small. I don't want to come across. I, I just don't want to burn any bridges, but I don't know. So I haven't decided yet. Hopefully, uh, you guys give me a suggestion. Should I have a conversation with the principal? And what should I say? I mean, do I apologize that he's in this predicament? Like, I mean, do I have anything to apologize for? I, I don't know. I kind of feel like if this was someone else, then... Because, you, you know, in every building, there are favorites, right? Favorites. I just, not a favorite. There's nothing wrong. Nobody hates me. I'm not in any trouble. I'm just not one of those favorites. And I feel like if this is one of his favorites, it would be less of an issue. So I think Miss Moore was a teacher who seemed content. She's good with the kids. They give her all the troubled kids you know, they give her all the low-level kids, and she does a great job with them. And they just thought that I was going to sit in here and, and teach, and they just keep giving them, giving them, giving them to me. Never once did you ask if I have any aspirations. Never once. I mean, should I have had that conversation? Maybe. I don't know. You signed my doctorate form. Like, I go to school for free because you signed my doc form. You didn't think I wanted to be it get a doctorate and sit in the classroom, did you? I, I don't know. I don't know. But I celebrated this weekend. <laughs> I celebrated this weekend. And yeah, it was like a big weight off my shoulders. I'm excited. It's finally done. Um, I don't feel sad about leaving the classroom. <laughs> I actually hated that I had the lesson plan this week. I did it on Sunday, and I only spent about 90 minutes for the entire week. <laughs> Not to say I got crappy lessons, but it wasn't this nostalgia. It wasn't this feeling of, oh, my God, it's going to be one of the last times I heard lesson plan. It was none of that. I feel like I'm done. Not that I hate teaching, but I feel like I'm done with it. Um, you've done something for over 10 plus years. It's just time to do something different. I have skills. I have assets. I just, I, I just want to see a different side of education from a different perspective that I cannot see in the walls of this room even when I'm part of other programs and then I get to mentor a few teachers, you know, I'm still, I'm still looking inside out and I want to look from the outside so I can see a, a broader perspective, a different perspective, if that makes any sense. So I think that's enough of my rant. <laughs> I'm almost at 10 minutes. Okay. Um, with this part anyway, so I'm going to stay get off and I have I don't know how much time I have about five minutes left of my planning and I'm going to enjoy the rest of my green leaf until my kids come in <laughs>